welcome back to Beauty Within. It's your host, Phil. And Ra. <laughs> and today, if you haven't noticed already, we have a super special episode for you because we have a guest who needs no introduction. But we'll introduce her anyway <laughs> because you guys have endlessly requested. We're excited to finally introduce you to one of our favorite humans in the skincare industry and just favorite humans in general, Leah. You. Oh my god, <laughs> give me a hug. Yeah. <laughs> give me a hug. Good morning everyone, Leah here. I am so honored to be here with my favorite two wholesome YouTubers on the entire platform. If you guys haven't heard about or know who Leah is, she's basically a girl boss and head honcho of Crave Beauty, which is a skincare brand that you're surely familiar with because Rowena and I just endlessly mention her products. Endlessly. <laughs> Great Beauty is all about tuning out the noise outside so that you can really, really hone into your inner voice and your intuition and what your skin is telling you because it clearly does try to communicate with you and it's all the matter of are you willing to listen to what your skin is trying to say? Yeah. And yeah, I think at the end of the day, like skincare should be just as intuitive as intuitive eating or just doing what feels right for you and for your skin. Yeah, because there's so many people out there, there's reviews, there's trends. So today we really want to focus on the connection between skincare and our lifestyle and how it's all about being more self-aware and skin aware, as skin Leah aware. said. Yes. yes. It's very, very <laughs> overwhelming once you walk into all those beauty retail stores. Even though we are living with the abundance and probably the luxury of all of these options that we can choose from I think that's fundamentally what makes us so confused and even so stressed out and that's exactly what we're gonna be covering today with Leah because she basically wrote the code on skincare diet or <laughs> hashtag skincare diet challenge we'll also be sharing with you guys all the scoop on Leah's new launch for Crave Beauty the oat so simple water cream I love it. It is so simple, yes. really. So let's just get into it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Beauty within. Before diving into how to better understand our skin, let's first have Leah tell us about her baby, Crave Beauty. Oh my god. <laughs> my baby is very precious. <laughs> I think the idea came about when I was putting so many skincare contents for so long on YouTube as a platform. I did have a luxury and I did have a chance to interact with the community and real people and real women and seeing how overwhelmed they were with skincare. Mm -hmm. And majority of my viewers do struggle with acne. I was once there too. I had acne prone skin for so long. I literally tried you know, the 12-step skincare routine mm. or doing expensive laser treatments. My skin wasn't really getting better. And I think at that point you realize there is something that's fundamentally wrong with what you're currently doing. So that's when I started researching and how our skin actually works. That's when I realized, oh my God, yeah. our skin is smart. It knows how to rejuvenate, it knows how to regulate repair on its own if you let your skin and your body to do its own job and i think a lot of the times a lot of skincare brands out there unfortunately do make you believe that your skin is incapable to function on its own i'm curious what were your first impressions about the brand the branding mm. and i was like oh it's cute you know sometimes things look cute and then the, the product itself, when you use it, it's pretty meh. Mm, but then exactly. I use the, the matcha cleanser, the jelly texture, that like, doing doing. I was like, oh, so hydrating. Yeah, and it was probably one of the first of its kind that I used, mm. that kind of texture, yeah. the bounciness of it. Like other ones are more runny mm -hmm. gel, but this one held its kind of form a little. And then, oh, I remember now, <laughs> it was that slight, tingly feeling oh, in yes. the cleanser. There's some and magic in provide. there. And it was just so refreshing on the face and kind of, it didn't leave it stripped. I think prior to that, it's like all the cleansers, especially for acne prone skin, a lot of it is very dry. Destroys your skin barrier. <laughs> yes. The sunscreen. <laughs> that glow and the condensed milk texture. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful. I'm so fun. It's yeah. so beautiful. It's that like radiant, 
glow yeah. under makeup or just by itself. There's Kayla Luya in the supplement series and there is Great Barrier Relief, which is another an amazing concoction that is designed to help repair your skin barrier because I'm all about protecting what you are born with. And a lot of times if you do over exfoliate, if you do overly get excited with a lot of new <laughs> products, which I'm guilty of to be honest, you do damage your skin barrier very, very easily. So I wanted something to really help regenerate and rebuild the compromised state of your skin barrier. So that's that. Mm. And one of the key ingredients in that serum is the tamanu oil, yes. right? And I think a lot of people ask questions about it. Do you want to address <laughs> how it helps with the skin? Yeah, so tamanu oil is actually a very, very, very skin regenerative oil. I come across this oil through my aunt. So my aunt is a Chinese acupuncturist and she does develop or formulate her own skincare. And she was the one who discovered the magic and the beauty of tamana oil. And she had a very huge sunspot on the left side of her cheek that wouldn't go away with vitamin C powder or even like laser treatments. And she started developing like a tamana oil based cream and she applied it day and night for about a few months and that sunspot fading away, that's when I believed it in and I wanted to try it. So would you say it's suitable for all, any and all skin types? I would say on its own, the tamanu oil itself is a very, very rich and rather thick oil. So I would recommend it to drier skin who can tolerate more thicker and greasier oil. So we balance it out by using safflower oil and one of my other favorite oils of all like oils out there, rose of seed oil. Mm. So those two oils are higher in linoleic acid, which makes it very, very fast absorbing, very appropriate for oily skin type and even acne prone skins. Yes, can attest to that. Felicia loves rose of oil, you yeah, guys know because that. because it's really good for hyperpigmentation as well. Mm -hmm. So there's like double whammy oils in there to help with it in a soothing way, not in like a chemical exfoliating your face away way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the skincare diet and what it is. There's a hashtag, right? Yeah, it's a hashtag. I did not expect this to actually blow up. So basically what skincare diet is, is really taking out everything that's unnecessary from your skincare routine and really streamlining it to the bare basics of your skincare routine, which is going to be your cleanser, your moisturizer, and your SPF. Those are the three core products that I believe that everyone should own and should be using <laughs> yeah. to, you know, optimize your skin health. So I encourage a lot of my viewers who do have skin sensitivity and acne prone skin to go on a skincare diet and stick to using those three core products for at least a month. Because when you're masking and drowning your skin with 20 different products and when you do have inflammation, you never know what's the culprit. You never yes. know what's the cause. You never know what you're allergic to. So makes you become more skin aware mm. and self-aware too. <laughs> no, especially I think over, over time, for acne prone skin. You use so many harsh chemicals that try to really drown out and incinerate that pimple or incinerate whatever inflammation is coming up. And then you have a whole world of other problems of like dryness and peeling and irritation and all that. So it's this constant like in, influx of problems. So for the skincare diet, we have some staples and favorites. Bling! These are mine. Bling! <laughs> <laughs> So cute. We should make our own sound effects. Bong. <laughs> bong. I like the bong. Ooh, we have a special treat. <laughs> a new guest. A new guest. New baby. Let's start with Leah. <laughs> oh yeah. So I'm proud to introduce finally our oh it's so simple water cream. <laughs> I started developing this moisturizer way before I developed Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser and even the Kalalia, which launched in 2017. December and Ooh. I asked my community on YouTube what their ideal moisturizer would look like if you were to make your own and on that video alone I had over 2300 different comments I think that was the moment where I realized moisturizer is a very individual product even though you and I let's say we do have the same skin type mm. being 
combination oily acne prone skin, we might have a different preference in the texture, in how it feels on the skin and the finish. So I think at that point I was so lost on how to approach the product development of this yeah. because at the end of the day when you're trying to please 2300 people, you please <laughs> What is Nobody. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's why I struggled the most for the entire first year of developing probably 50 different lab samples of moisturizers. I was trying to add more and more features to please everyone, mm. but then it became a lab sample that couldn't please literally anyone. And that's when I pressed reset <laughs> on my Listen product. To yourself. Yeah. <laughs> And I took a completely different opposite approach of just simplifying. I downsized and I eliminated a lot of unnecessary ingredients, a lot of trendy active ingredients. And it came down to this no frills, just oats formula that has less than 10 ingredients. So that's when I realized you really need to simplify to amplify. I'm not gonna say this moisturizer is going to fix all of your problems, but it does solve one problem really, really well, which is quite telling all of your worries that you have when it comes to choosing a moisturizer. It's one of those products that, you know when anything is happening, whether it's good or bad, you just know that you can rely on it. You just <laughs> reach for it. And I think we all need those products in our skincare routine instead of going like, what's gonna fix this at this time? And then switching and then it's just like, <laughs> So if you do want to spice it up, you can always mix in with your supplementary products like AHA or vitamin C powder mm. or retinol. And this wouldn't clash with any of those active ingredients. It's like a reliable friend that never leaves you. Yes, <laughs> we all need that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's interesting because I love oat because oat is such an anti-inflammatory. It's soothing if you have like skin irritation, rashes, mm. and it's such a ingredient that's been used over centuries. Yes. cross-culturally. A lot of times, a lot of natural ingredients, unfortunately, they can be hit or miss. Yeah. But oatmeal as one of the natural ingredients on its own, it does have a lot of scientific researches, a lot of proven track record mm -hmm. of being used on eczema skin, being used on acne prone skin, mm -hmm. being used on inflamed skin. I grew up taking oat baths yeah. because of my eczema yeah. when I was like, like flaking and scabbing mm. and bleeding and Passing. Even when I had that skin rash, mm. you're like, just soak oats and use the water and splash it on your face. So it makes complete sense. What do you guys have? I have the fresh soy face cleanser. And then I have the Indie Lee. Mm. This is the clarifying. I wanted to try that because you've been raving about that. The consistency is very similar yeah. to yours. I think that's why I really love it. Nothing too like shocking to the skin in terms of smell and just like the feeling. For moisturizer, it's the Polish Choice Omega Complex Moisturizer. I think this to me is also like a very no frills, mm. reliable friend mm. historically, but mm. it has a tough competition because <laughs> uh, we haven't had time to try this yet, but yeah. we will. Yeah. yeah. Try it. The texture is interesting. Oh, it's like um, moussey. Yeah. Oh. Right? Like a, wow! It's kind of like that fresh musk, that mm. um, the velvety black tea. one. Yeah. yeah. I think velvet's a better word. It's not yeah, matte, it's velvet. Very I can definitely lighty. see yeah. why it's for drier skin. It's got that feeling. Yes. <laughs> it's got that the feeling! Fatty yeah. the, fatty <laughs> the Omegas. Why I'm so excited about yeah. your new product launch is because I love water gel cream consistencies. This is the Kiehl's oh. Calendula Serum Infused Water Cream. And Calendula is one of those soothing ingredients yes. that I feel a lot of people can benefit from. You know, it's very calming, it's very soothing. It doesn't matter what condition you're in, it will help with hydration. Oh, wow. It is Ooh. so smooth. It is actually like a serum almost. Yeah, so lightweight. I always go and find the best products out of desperation. Because you know? <laughs> it's like something happened, heal me back to life. I don't want all these fancy, crazy products. And then our favorites, sunscreen. Sunscreen is probably one of the most effective, if not the most effective, product for anti-aging. Oh, just... oh yes. <laughs> and probably the cheapest anti-aging yeah. product. Like we don't want to go back and fix problems, you want to prevent it. And only sunscreen can do that. And a hat. I think it's worth say, say, stating now, we're pretty deep into the video, but we love Leah. We love her products, mm -hmm. but like we would not 
highly recommend something Next. if we didn't genuinely appreciate it. So yeah. this is like genuine love. I think the best thing that you get out of doing the skincare diet challenge is to getting to know your skin so much better. And you can slowly but surely start having a conversation with your skin. Yay! <laughs> and feed what your skin craves from that. So of course, if your skin operates and functions really, really well with the core series, the core basics, that's amazing. You don't probably need more products, but if your skin is peeling, if your skin needs more intense hydration, that's when you can add more of a hydrating mist, hydrating essences, or some sort of facial oil that suits your skin type. If your skin is scaly, if your skin needs that pushed an encouragement in the skin cellular turnover, I would highly encourage you to apply or incorporate an alpha hydroxy acid such as Kalaluya. You might notice that your skin is very, very vulnerable and that means you need to do something with your skin barrier to reconstruct. So that's when something like Great Barrier Relief would come handy. If you want to reverse signs of aging, you don't need to go for a super extravagant moisturizer that does have all of these fancy active ingredients. I think mm. that's when you can like easily incorporate just a pure retinol serum like the ordinary ground active retinoid here. For you, I would think that you definitely need more moisture. I think I would be anyway. parched. Mm. I need some sort, I'm, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. I'm gonna commit to this, but I think I already know I'll need some sort of hydrating toner slash essence. Yeah. Mm. Because sometimes she wakes up and she's like, my skin couldn't move. And I'm like, I don't know what that feels like. <laughs> or like midway throughout the day, I'm like, I feel my wrinkles. <laughs> I think for oily skin type, the basics probably work <laughs> fine. It's like already producing an abundance of oils. <laughs> but I think for oily, it's about controlling that sebum production. Mm -hmm. Be like, whoa, horsey, calm down. <laughs> Would you have any other additional tips? Yeah, so probably Still in the same train of simplifying, you only want to introduce one active at a time because like everyone is collectively confused about can I use HAs and BHAs with niacinamide with vitamin C? So the easiest way is to just bring them into the picture one at a time. It's like if you have too many friends all at once, you can't like cater to all of them and make them all happy, right? But spending that one-on-one -on -one time with a person, <laughs> getting to know... Time. Yes, that is how you approach skincare, people. <laughs> <laughs> if you spend quality time, the active ingredient will do something for your skin, <laughs> right? So we're not gonna get too much into this because it can get pretty like complicated, but we did find this graphic for you guys from Chemist Confessions, which is like a wheel, really like very straightforward, what works, what doesn't work, so you can check that out. Bing! Another tip is, trends are nice, but friends, does it worth it? <laughs> well, it's like if you see something you like, it doesn't mean, or everyone has it, it doesn't mean that it's gonna work for you. I guess like it's going a step further, but it does tie with conscious consumerism. Like we are living in an Instagram era, social media era, where a lot of times we consume a lot of contents that promote consumerism and we feel like we need to buy this, otherwise we are missing out yeah. or otherwise our skin is not gonna function, but that's totally not true. And the last tip that I would definitely add is to give your skin some time. And I know a lot of times we are just addicted to that instant gratification in skincare. We wanna see results like right now. But do know that those are the products that are probably harsh to use in the long term. So just be steady, trust your skincare product and give the time for it to perform. Good things are worth the wait and it's building that relationship with your skin. It really is. Now let's talk about the skin, body, mind access. If you take good care of yourself and your body, your skin will naturally take care of itself. Yeah, because your body is a temple. It's like a well-functioning <laughs> universe on its own. And that's why so many like self-care products are coming out. And although these tools do help, what at the core is still coming back to this place of like zen almost or like acknowledgement of your situation and what it could be and how you're going to help yourself get to like a different point. So we all have our different favorites. I yes. think, or like, because there's DIY alternatives, there's like um, exercise and meditation, you know, physical components, there's food and diet, yeah. or like drinks. 
there's so many different aspects of like what self-care is. I do know how important sleep or rest in general is for your body to repair, rejuvenate, and for your skin to actually function because if you are constantly sleep deprived, there is a stress hormone called cortisol that would just like scream at you, raising your insulin level, and that automatically signals the sebaceous gland, which is our oil gland. Mm -hmm. So producing more oil and more pore clogging and more acne. Sickness. You can always tell like sleep deprived because it's it's not hydrated, it's dull, it's mm. ashy, there's like texture and all of Ashy, right? Yeah. Like you can tell yourself, it's like, man, I look rough. <laughs> I need to go to bed yeah. now. <laughs> Versus someone who's got that replenishment just mm. from having like a few, you know, the well restedness. Yeah. It's like bright and you don't have to do anything. Yeah. It's almost so subtle you can't tell, but you can. Yeah. yeah. Because our body also goes through the circadian rhythm. So in traditional Chinese medicine, mm -hmm. throughout the day, your body will work on different organs and different parts of the body. And I think daytime is like protection, but um, nighttime is repair mode. Mm -hmm. We also sweat the most. Did you know that? When yeah. we sleep. Yeah, so our body is losing water, our face is losing water, which is why I think like night creams are usually <laughs> thicker. Do you use any, um, not tools, but like gadgets or anything? I actually have one. Okay. Ooh. It's not a gadget, but it's a recent discovery that really changed the quality of my sleep and mm -hmm. that's weighted blanket. Ooh. Have you guys tried it? No. So it's a blanket that is very, very heavy. Um, it's like 15 pounds. <laughs> Yeah, so you're, you're literally trapped underneath like a very weighted blanket, Whoa. but it gives you a sensation that someone's hugging you. Oh, it's like a baby. You know when they're wrapped, when they're newborns, they're like wrapped and it gives them that security? Because they're like that in the womb. Yeah. It sounds hot and heavy. It's actually pretty cooling. What gives it the weight? Glass beads. Wow, it's like, you know when you bake and you're setting the pie crust down with those little... No? Okay. No bakers here? I think other um, gadgety things can be really simple, like a sleeping mask, you know, because that helps with the quality of sleep. Sometimes when the sun comes in, we're just like, nah, groggy. Yeah. What about you, Rowena? I think for me, it's been meditation. If I wake up earlier enough in the morning and get like a 30 minute solid one hour meditation session in the whole day, it's beautiful. You're just calm, no matter like what pops up in life, people, things happening, you're just like, I got this. And I think for people who haven't tried it yet, there's a process into it. Cause it's, it's kind of a scary thing to be in your thoughts almost. Or like and alone you, with your yeah. thoughts. And you don't know what to do with that. I think really. it still comes down to self-awareness mm. and self-acceptance. Yeah. Like being able to accept yourself for who you are so that you can sit alone with yourself, with yourself by yourself in mm -hmm. silence. And then there's also lifestyle in terms of what you're putting in comes mm. Out. And I feel like if you have acne prone skin, you're already fighting an uphill battle. It's very reactive and very sensitive. The battle is all internal. That for me has been one of the biggest like, wow moments when, not saying that this is gonna work the same for everyone, but like dairy and sugar, because it goes back to the insulin levels, which is, you know, it creates different hormones. It like surges in the body, it's inflammation in the body and acne is inflammation. So when you have inflammation inside, you'll have it outside. On the topic of food, I feel like one thing that's helped me a lot with my diet is learning about intuitive eating, which is very much like self-awareness. It's easy to like, I want to be skinny. I want to look like the girls on and follow Instagram. Trends. Yeah, and I want to do these diets and I'm vegetarian for a few months and I'm vegan for a few months and then I'm 80% raw for a few months yeah. and I totally mess up my gut lining mm -hmm. and now I'm at a point where it's like I'm just gonna listen to my body and eat what I need. As you were talking about intuitive eating, I think that's the exact approach on how I take skincare and how I approach skincare, being more in tune with my skin, being more aware of what my skin needs and feeding what my skin wants and needs. And I think it all comes down to just having a very calm and peaceful state of mind that will dictate whatever you're manifesting <laughs> with your body. <laughs> and with that, Leah dearest, do you have any parting wisdom? <laughs>
Um, I definitely do believe that whatever you want to manifest, you just need to be in tune with your intuition, be in tune with your inner voice and follow those little whispers, I think you'll be able to achieve whatever you desire to achieve. Thank you so much, Leah. Thank you. For joining us on our episode. Yes. <laughs> and we're so excited for the new launch. Make sure you guys check out the Oat So Simple Water Cream. At CraveBeauty.com. Yeah. And you can find Leah on her socials at, at Leah Yu. YouTube, Instagrams. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you follow that and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs>